हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज़ मी जसनीप कौर होप यू आर आर डूइंग ग्रेट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टूडेज कॉन्टेंट प्लीज़ डोंट फोगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल मेक श्योर यू हिट दी बेल आइकन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माई नेक्स्ट अपलोड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट चैप्टर सिक्स ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ दैट इज फूड क्वालिटी एंड फूड सेफ्टी This video would be part four. For earlier three parts of this chapter, check out the links mentioned in the description box below. In this video, we will talk about international organizations and agreements which are working in the area of food standards, quality, research, and trade. As with change in time, the food trade internationally has grown at vast level. due to increase in demand of food across the globe and due to increase in population it has become difficult to serve people with healthy food to prevent dishonest practices in sale of foods many international organizations and agreement play a key role in enhancing food safety and quality as well as security the main organizations are Codex Alimentarius Commission International Organization for Standardization and World Trade Organization Let's understand what Codex Alimentarius Commission is all about Students for your understanding I have already highlighted the key points which I believe will help you in memorizing Talking about the establishment of Codex Alimentarius Commission it is an intergovernmental international food standards body which is established jointly by the food and agriculture organization fao and the world health organization who in may 1963 the goal of establishing this international standard was to protect the health of consumers and ensure fair practices in the international food trade the codex standards guidelines and recommendations are recognized by the world trade organization as an international reference point for international trade and for handling food trade related disputes which concerns food safety and consumer protection talking about the members of this organization in 2017 the number of members of codex was 187 member countries and one member organization which is european union india became the member of codex alimentarius commission in 1964 through ministry of health and family welfare currently the codex alimentarius commission has 189 codex members made up of 188 member countries and one member organization the european union cac is a single most important international reference point for development related to food standards The documents published by CAC is Codex Alimentarius which means food code. It is a collection of internationally adopted food standards, code of practice, guidelines and other recommendations to protect consumers and ensure fair practices in food trade. different countries use coding standards to develop national standards consumers and importers can trust the safety and quality of the food product which they buy or order as it will be according to their specification codex india is the national codex contact point nccp for india It is located at the Directorate General of Health Services (DGHS), Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. The Codex Alimentarius covers all foods like processed, 
सेमी प्रोसेस्ड और रॉ इट ऑल्सो कवर्स मैटर्स लाइक फूड लेबलिंग फूड हाइजीन फूड एडिटर्व पेस्टिसाइड्स रेजिड्यूज एंड प्रोसीजर फॉर असेसिंग द सेफ्टी ऑफ फूड्स डिराइव फ्रॉम मॉडर्न बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इट ऑल्सो कवर्स गाइडलाइंस फॉर द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ऑफिशियल दैट इज गवर्नमेंट इम्पोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट इंस्पेक्शन एंड सर्टिफिकेशन सिस्टम फॉर फूड्स नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सेकेंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन that is international organization for standardization the mission of iso is to promote the development of standardization and related activities to facilitate international trade talking about its member iso is an independent non governmental international organization with the membership of 164 national standard bodies which is also known as iso member bodies iso 900 is an international reference for quality requirements for quality management of an organization iso international standards ensure that products and services are safe and reliable and of good quality they help in facilitating international trade as they help companies to accept new markets provide new opportunities to developing countries and facilitate free and fair global trade they also focus on reducing cost by minimizing waste and errors and focus on increasing productivity in business the work done by iso is results in international agreement which are published as international standards these documents cover almost every industry from technology to food safety to agriculture and healthcare adoption of this standard is voluntary talking about the difference in codex and iso codex used to develop national regulations whereas iso is voluntary codex elementarius commission is not very active in bringing out changes whereas iso standards are reviewed every 5 years codex describes the minimal acceptable practices whereas iso describes current standard industrial practices let's move to the third organization which plays a key role in the area of food standards quality research and trade is world trade organization the world trade organization is the only global international organization dealing with the rules of trade between nations world trade organization was established in 1995 the main objective of wto was to help trade flow smoothly freely fairly and predictably by administering trade agreements settling trade disputes assisting countries in trade policy issues wto agreement covers goods services and intellectual property we can implement standards by food control system an effective food control system consists of food inspection and analytical capability in food inspection we talk about verifying whether the food product meets the necessary standard or not the all processing of food must go through according to the regulations and legislation in this food inspectors are appointed by the government to check the quality and standards in the labs in analytical capabilities we talk about certified laboratories that are well equipped with latest technology well trained and knowledgeable staff great analytical capabilities for detecting food contaminations this is all for today's students i hope you all have understood it thoroughly for the earlier parts of this chapter 
do check out the description box below i have mentioned links of all the parts there i will see you soon with my next video till then take care and stay blessed